In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you five options balloon infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added the balloon options of uh, five different colors. You can add your icons there and then you can add below the detailed text. So I have created one more slide. You can see here these are some more darker uh, balloons. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select oval shape just click it and the height and width i'm going to make it as uh, three inches you can see here select this one align center align middle and press ctrl d one more time and i'm going to change the color to some light gray color shape outline make it no outline this one i'm going to make it 3.75 height and width and this also align center align middle and send this to back you can see here and i'm just going to select this uh, gray color right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select a line which is solid line i'm going to give some dark color and here you can just increase the width you can see here you can increase the width and the compound type i'm just going to select uh, this one which is thick thin and you can increase it further the width and this color also i'm just going to remove the outline and then i'm going to give a dark color or whichever color which you feel then select these both options and just bring it down something like this let it be here I'm going to add one more shape for that go to insert shapes and select the block arc just click it and change the height to maybe 4.95 or 5 you can see here I'm just going to reduce the width drag this inside and then you can just put it here you can add one here if you want you can just increase the height something like this but let it be this is okay shape outline make it no outline and then we can add more colors to it and then select the circles Control d to duplicate it Control g to group it and i'm going to reduce the size hold the shift key you can reduce the size you can see here and then i'm going to add this is one i'm going to add five so this will be second this will be third control d fourth and this is five and then you can just come and change the color one by one you can just select here go to format you can give some different color and again on the second one you can let me just select the other one and you can give some other same color here you can see here the outline likewise you can just change the color or you can just select this Control shift g to ungroup it or right mouse click and ungroup it you can right mouse click and ungroup also then i you can just select one and i'm just going to change the color to blue and this also i'm just going to change the same color to blue likewise you can just change different different colors of your choice let me just change this color also the fifth color i'm going to use this and shape outline the same color and for this i'm going to use maybe this color and the same color and for this line also you can do the same thing i can just select the gradient fill and by default i have used before that's the reason it's coming so whichever color which you have selected you can just choose that colors and do the changes now we have added this bottom part now it's time to add the balloon infographics to add the balloons go to insert shape select oval shape you can make it something like this right mouse click edit point and the bottom you can just drag this inside you can see here our balloon shape is almost ready shape outline 
no outline and you can go to effects shadows i'm going to select this one which is the inner center and then you can give some more blur effect to it you can see here this gives you kind of a 3d look and then go to insert shapes i'm just going to select one say this one which is trapezoid let me just zoom in i'm just drawing the trapezoid you can see here reduce it we're dragging this inside and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give the same color which is blue or the one which i have used and right mouse click edit points you can just drag this one to give some curve shape you can see here a little bit something like this and then send this to back all right so you can see here uh, the balloon is ready i'm just going to select this press ctrl g to group it and here you can add the icons yesterday i've given the icon file you can use that one or you can simply use this particular icons which if you have the latest version of powerpoint so i'm just going to select this reduce the size put it here change the color to white and i'm going to give some text here and this also make it white color reduce the size center align and that's it then i'm just going to select this all control g to group it control d to duplicate you can put one here control d this will be my second one this is my third control d this is fourth you can align it properly and this is fifth let me just bring it here so i can just select this and format align top i can just say so this also you can just align it so just let me just arrange it properly giving the equal spaces and then i want to connect this with the line for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the freeform shape and i can just select the line like this you can see here and double click and then go here again do the same thing just double click here and then this one i can just double click this and rotate it and i can use for this balloon you can see here and this balloon i will move here and this also i'm just going to control d and again rotate it horizontal and just put this balloon here you can see here and then one straight line in the center so these lines can you can make it a dashed or dotted lines you can see here i can just select this one lines i can go here and do the dotted lines and can change the color to some gray color and then based on these shapes you can change the color of the balloon for example let me just select this color you can see here for this i'm just going to select the purple and for this i'm going to select this orange and for this i'm going to select this aqua color so our presentation is ready so you can see here you can just add your own title here and you can do some small animations also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye